World Cup day number nine is in the books, and it was for me the best day of action of the entire tournament. Man, the two games in the morning being um, Serbia versus Cameroon. What a game! Serbia takes a 3 1 lead early. Uh, well, Cameroon scores, Serbia ties it, and then just goes 3 1, I mean 2 1, 3 1. And then right when everyone, including myself, thought there is no way that Cameroon comes back from this. Cameroon comes back and ties it. Oh my god. What a game. Uh, that group is now going to go down to the final day, which is on Friday. Yes, on Friday. It will all be decided in that group. What a game. Cameroon played their hearts out. The second um, second game of the day was um, South Korea versus Ghana. Wow. Ghana picks up th uh, picks up a win. Three to two. Uh, wow. Um, it was a very good game. Uh, South Korea had some two very good goals. Ghana looked really well. Now they put themselves back into contention um, in in the Portugal and Uruguay group. So Ghana has life. Um, we did also get two teams that qualified to the round of 16, being Brazil and Portugal. Brazil did it beating Switzerland 1-0 with a goal at the 88th minute by Casemiro. Even though Vinicius Jr. did score early in the second half, the goal was obviously ruled off sides. Uh, I disagree with it uh, because I think you could see how he was running back. He was like he was running from behind, and I don't, I didn't, I don't agree with the call. But at the end of the day, I am not, um, I'm not refereeing. But Brazil on to the round of 16, meaning they could get Neymar back for the round of 16 game. He's probably going to be out against Cameroon now that the game really has no meaning for Brazil. The last game of the day, last game of the day was uh, Uruguay against um, Portugal. Uruguay needed to win tonight to maintain hope and to uh to make life easier for them um portugal they played their hearts out it was a fairly even first half uh not a lot of action but come the second half and we saw bruno fernando bruno fernandes with a very nice uh cross into the box it ended up being a goal uh, Ronaldo looked like he headed it, but not really. He maybe touched it with his feet, but not really. So they gave the goal to Bruno Fernandes. And then it, late in the game, there was a penalty awarded for um, Portugal. Bruno, Bruno Fernandes again scores the goal, has two. And then later on in the game, he had a chance for a third. Uruguay had some good chances. But now Portugal, Portugal now advances to the round of 16. That was, uh, they advance as the number one seed in that group. And now for Uruguay to pass through the group stage, they have to beat Ghana. That's it. But that is not an easy task. Um, what a day. What a day. We are now getting into the final days of the group stage. Tomorrow, groups A. I mean, yeah, groups A and B will be decided. Uh, we have Ecuador and Senegal. And then we got Netherlands and Qatar. And we got England and Wales and United States and Iran. So make sure you hit the, uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you don't miss uh, my review of tomorrow's crazy action because it's bound to be crazy. And make sure you give this video a huge uh, thumbs up. And I will see you all tomorrow.